Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Corky, the daring bombardier. Corky is a ranged DPS champion, specializing in mobility and range, while dealing both physical and magic damage. Corky's passive is Hextech Shrapnel Shells. All of Corky's basic attacks deal bonus true damage. This damage scales with Critical Strikes and with Sheen, Trinity Force, and Lich Bane, but not with items like Madrid's Blood Razor and Malady. Phosphorus Bomb reveals and damages enemies in the target area. Note that while Phosphorus Bomb will show enemies hiding in brush or behind a wall, it will not reveal wards or invisible champions. Valkyrie sends Corky to target location, leaving behind a wake of fire that damages enemies standing inside it. Gatling Gun repeatedly damages enemies in a cone in front of Corky. Struck enemies continuously lose armor while getting hit by Gatling Gun. Missile Barrage sends out a skill shot nuke that explodes on the first enemy it hits, damaging all nearby enemies. Every fourth missile sent out is a big one that deals more damage in a larger area. While Missile Barrage is on a very short cooldown, it is also limited by an ammo system. Ammo for this ability recharges slower than the basic cooldown. I get up on health compared to Misfortune, so I try to play aggressively. Once Karma blows the cooldown on Soul Shield, I poke with Phosphorus Bomb and basic attacks. Seeing her run, I chase with Valkyrie and Exhaust. Once Garen picks up the kill, I chase onto Karma. Notice that I move in between attacks, allowing me to stay in range much longer for more attacks. Once she flashes out of range, I chase with Flash and land one more basic attack, giving Garen a double kill. Karma comes back into lane and plays extremely aggressively as Shaco's waiting to gank me. Karma drops to my abilities, including the burn from Valkyrie, but then I make a huge mistake. There is basically no way to run from Shaco with Lizard, so I should have stayed and fought instead of kiting. Without taking extra damage from Backstab and landing one or two more attacks, I might have had a chance. Corky is exceptionally good at aggressive fights and attacking from a great distance. Here Misfortune crosses the midpoint of the lane, so immediately I dive in, activating Gatling Gun as I cast Valkyrie. As we fight, I'm confident I'll win the battle, so I only use Exhaust when I think she might start to run. She burns Flash, but thanks to the slow, Garen catches up and we get the kill. I get into a teamfight in mid, immediately pushing for Shaco who has the Lizard buff. As he runs, I chase him with Valkyrie and lock him up with Exhaust, flashing out immediately after he goes down. With my new buff, I switch to Cho'Gath. I turn to evade Feral Scream and dodge away from Rupture. I continue to kite him with the Lizard buff until he runs away. I chase him down and get into position to land two more shots from Missile Barrage. Then my team chases him and cleans up the kill in our jungle. In a new game, I'm facing an aggressive Jax in lane. Corky has great sustained damage early game, so after he jumps in, I fire back, getting him extremely low. About 40 seconds later, I see him still lurking around, so I Valkyrie into range, flash after him as he runs, and take him down with Phosphorus Bomb. As Katarina chases me, I exhaust her and run until she finally turns around. My team's Katarina comes in from mid, so I go to set up the gank. I wade into the brush, fighting Jax and the enemy Katarina. I get ready to Valkyrie out the second she shunpos in. Sure enough, they come to fight me, and I bait them into a perfect position. As they run, I start to chase with Missile Barrage and Flash. Then Sona flashes and pops Crescendo, giving us two kills. With an early Sheen, I push into Katarina. Early damage output from my abilities is high, so I chase with Valkyrie. I can serve shots of Missile Barrage, hoping that she'll juke me so that I can get in closer. I notice she isn't dodging my shots, so I keep shooting, taking her down just as she reaches the minion wave. She probably could have dodged that last shot by ducking into the minions, but if she had juked around earlier, I'd have just gotten into range for more attacks and easier shots. When building Trinity Force on Corky, properly timing your abilities is paramount to your success. Let's break down this chase onto Karthus. I Valkyrie in, which gives me a Trinity Force charge, and I deal a ton of damage. Now the cooldown on Trinity Force is back. Watch what happens. I shoot a basic attack, then start to cast Missile Barrage. Trinity Force applies to attacks already in the air, and Trinity Force charges attacks at the beginning of spells, not after they finish casting. I have the Trinity Force charged for about one-tenth of a second, picking up the kill on Karthus when the Missile Barrage lands. In one final teamfight, I see Jax heading over to kill Sona. I run to intercept, slowing him with the Lizard buff in Trinity Force. Jax jumps on me and we trade blows before I Valkyrie out once Katarina shows up to grab the kill. Immediately after, Garen shows up. Again, I try to kite with Lizard and Trinity Force, but once Gangplank hits Cannon Barrage, I have to flash out. The distance allows me to safely kill Garen. 
As Gangplank greedily shows up, I again try to keep Sona alive by doing the only thing I know how to, dealing tons of damage. For runes, I take armor penetration marks, flat armor seals, flat magic resist glyphs, and flat damage quintessences. This setup gives me a lot of damage output, while compensating for Corky's general frailness early on. My masteries are 2109, making sure I take magic penetration in offense and one point in neutral buff duration in utility. I take exhaust and flash, mastering the former in the offense tree. I max Gatling Gun by level 9, taking one point in Valkyrie at level 2 and maxing it last. While I max Phosphorus Bomb after Gatling Gun, I take my first skill point in it. For items, I open with a Doran's Blade. Feel free to buy more if your early game isn't going well. After, I take Berserker's Greaves and Trinity Force. Yes, Trinity Force. I continue to build Corky for pure damage with a fast Bloodthirster, and then depending on my needs, Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, and Last Whisper. Thanks for tuning in to the Corky Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel up top and leave us your thoughts in the comments below.